This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools unit. I'm on Lesson 12, Updating Records, Puzzle 6. Event Handlers for Edit and Go Back Buttons. Now that you have all the UI elements, user interface elements, you need... It's time to set up Event Handlers. In this level, you'll write the Event Handlers for the Edit button and the new Go Back button. You'll write the event handler for update contact in the next level. Do this. Add event handlers for the go back button on the screen for editing contacts. Okay. Set the screen to view contact screen. Alrighty. So I need the event handler. Was it up here? Of course it was. Way, way down. There we are. On event. I'm going to add two event handlers eventually. I'm going to just space these out so it's easier to read. So I need boop on event for my edit back button, I think I called it. Yep, edit back button and on click. And then what do I want to occur? I want to set screen as they state. To view contact screen. There we are. So we will be listening for the event when the user clicks on the edit back button, which is the ID I gave to this button. Uh, when they click, they'll go back to the view contact screen. Add an event handler for the edit button in the event. In the event handler. So that is the button here. And then when it is clicked, you set text. Oh, interesting. Okay, of course. We're going to set the text to be the text of the current. And then we're going to have to set image as well. Do they say that? Ah, okay. So set text. And then... Or, let's see, we have the edit. And what do we want it to be? Well, we're going to need to use our array that we created forever ago. Way up here. So we remember we have a global current index and we made this global contacts equals. So, and then we say, okay, we call our refresh local data. In the refresh local data function, we got, and again, if you're missing a bunch of this code, you got to go back and work your way through these other lessons. I think this starts at eight. Um, I have tutorials for all of them if you're stuck. So we say read records and we ask the server for my contacts. The server gives us whatever it has saved for us. Um, and we give it the value or the name records. We then say, hey, let's make contacts. Let's make that equal to records. And that way, every function in our program can access contacts because contacts is a global variable. So now we just took what the server returned and made it accessible to all other functions. We then say, OK, let's set the current index to the length of contacts minus one, which would be the most recently added contact is going to be our index. And then we're going to show current contact. When we show current contact, what it does is it's going to grab the current index. And what did we make index equal to? Right right here we did our global variable. We made it equal to the last indice in our array. So the length of the array minus 1, which is the last index, because index start at 0. So it will set the, it grabs contacts, our global array of all of the contact objects. And then it says, OK, well, which contact? Oh, well, the last one, because that's what this current index now equals dot name. OK, output the name. All right, output the and then we set all of these up as strings and then pass them to be here. So now, just like we did here, where we grabbed the contact information using our global array and then the global variable current index, we are going to update the edit screen because we'll know. All right, so what are they looking at? Well, the contact they're looking at is going to be the contact index, is what I named them. 
your names might be a different, a little bit different. So contacts and then index because this is a current index because remember the contacts that it returns it's an array of objects but that's great because so now whatever index they're at maybe they're at index 2 so it grabs the contact object at index 2 now what do we want we need the name of that contact so we can use dot notation to access the property of the object at index 2 or whatever they're at and then we're going to do the same thing here right for each one of these okay that's their name now I want to do the number I believe phone yep edit phone was my ID for that and then contacts is my array what was the index current index dot phone maybe what did I say it is dot phone okay and then birthdays next edit b day was my name for that again contacts the index of current index and then dot notation dot birthday for that property I need another set text for image URL. Edit preview image is what I named the ID or gave it for an ID. Contacts. What was the name of that property? Image URL. else do they need I would assume they want us to do the preview image so of course we also need the set contact screen I'm gonna add set image yeah And okay, I'm going to test this part of it real quick. Oh, I didn't add a set screen. That's problematic. So it's previewing, everything looks good, but this is being weird. Edit preview image. Oh, edit preview image is the actual image area. Image input is what we needed. There we are. Excellent. All right. What else? Add an event handler to update the preview image on edit screen when the user changes the image URL. So that is basically going to be this. All right, so I'm going to copy that because it's just like the one we did before. If the user edits the or when the user adds a image. Uh, when they're adding a contact, we want it to preview, but we're just going to change this from event. Let's see. What did I name it on the edit screen? Edit image. And then we're going to look for on change. And what are we going to do on the change? 
we need to change up preview image, but edit preview image, and then what's the image URL? It's the edit image input. Okay, let's. That looks good though. So now we need to, if you haven't already, move the set screen line from the save contact button event handler and to show current contact. Ah, this way when you delete a contact and reload your local copy of contacts, your app will redirect to the view contact screen. Okay, so when you delete a contact, it will reload and redirect. Um, this somewhat makes sense too because now our delete button is well here. So let's go ahead and take our set screen and we want to move it again from save contact, which is this guy, to show current contact. Because there's more than one way we might change up our contacts at this point. If I can find it, show, oh, is that it? Show current contact, set image, yep, there we are, okay. You know, um, having just done this, so with set screen at the bottom, if you're updating info, you really want to have the set screen last, because, yes, okay. So what I did here on edit is not the best idea. So the edit button, I should set this screen after I am certain I've grabbed all that text and changed it. So just in case for some reason it's a bit slower, if I set the screen first, the user might see a blank screen and be like, what, why, or annoyed, or anything like that. So it's a good idea to always, if you're changing the screen contents, have set screen um, down towards the uh, bottom. Well, the end of your function, I guess. I'm going to run the program, verify, edit, go back, and delete buttons all work, and that your preview image updates when you change the URL text. Ah, alrighty, let's go ahead and hit run here. Mighty Mouse! Okay, and I'm going to hit edit. That is looking good. Just go back work. Go back does work. Alright, who should I delete? Friend1, goodbye. Edit. Delete contact. No friend one. All right, and then let's do edit again. We need to check the, I'm just gonna copy this code for that image. And let's go over here and check that the preview will still change. Paste. But da I'm not gonna, save this or do we even have update yet so um i'm gonna leave the image as is go back hi computer wow that we're getting into more complicated coding but it's doing some cool things we're learning some difficult concepts and i'm excited to see what our final product is going to look like maybe i'll even change friend two's name i know i know i'm getting wild all right let's keep uh going